Thank you for joining us, David. You have three minutes. E-scooters pose two serious dangers to vulnerable people with disabilities, seniors, and others. The silent menace of joyriding e-scooter riders, uninsured, unlicensed, untrained, unhelmeted, poses a serious danger, for example, to blind people like me who can't see them coming, and sighted people who don't have eyes in the back of their head. They pose a danger to our accessibility, strewn on sidewalks, either tripping hazards for blind people or barriers for people using mobility devices. You've been told this, city council has been told this, by city staff in 2021, by city staff in 2024, by the Accessibility Advisory Committee in 2020, and in, pardon me, and in 2021, and in 2024, by 22 community organizations, including the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance. Like, the message is clear. So let me address two counter arguments. Oh, other cities do it. Well, the other cities disregarded these concerns. The city staff report before you includes ample data that those other city staffs did not collect, did not address, did not refute. Two wrongs still don't make a right. And second, you'll hear from the corporate lobbyists whose feeding frenzy we've documented at City Hall. We expect you'll hear, oh, they have new technology. It's a smoke screen. They've been promising it for years. Don't experiment on us, involuntary tar uh, victims of e-scooters, to prove again that their claims are wrong. In conclusion, we strongly support micromobility. You have ample options before you. Please pass the report as written without changes. And if you look at all the options you've approved or would approve, you don't need e-scooters. They create more dangers. They do not add additional benefits. Thank you.